Hello everyone, and welcome to the highlight of the 1.0 release of DCSS Replay. We have been working on some pretty interesting things since the last release. Some of the smaller changes you might have noticed in the opening slideshow or in the world record videos that I posted previously. We'll talk more about them and the big features that go into this release in the next few minutes, so strap in and let's begin. The first fun feature I want to introduce is the seed bar. You can see that it has the current and total time indication in convenient places. It also has the a pause unpause button to indicate the status. And of course, the actual sigbar indicates the currently playing moment and can be interacted with the mouse for real time seeking. Now let's move on to a big one, the TTYREC from server download window. Enter the case sensitive name of a player, select a server that he plays on, and you can see all of their TTYREX for easy searching. After finding the one you want, simply click to download it and watch. You can also filter the TTYREX list by date or select the date from the drop down menu. Continuing, let's appreciate a few smaller fixes of TTYREX reproduction. Starting with the fact that uh, the images are no longer stretched when the window is adjusted to an irregular size. We can also see that the walls are now differentiated by their type somewhat, instead of being hard-coded to one type per floor. Another point we focused on is handling info from highlighting, such as monster statuses, player trails, and blood on the floor and walls. We also added the missing gauntlet in labyrinth locations, so they render properly, and replaced the nest in spider with webs. Another nice to have feature is the configuration window. Here you can adjust the pause between frame generation for performance reasons, adjust the time jump length, and control the maximum break between frames. Also, there is the option to start with one of the two TTYREC selection screens on startup. The last big feature is the TTYREC data search window. In this window, you can search through the whole TTYREC by typing in what you want to see, and the list of every instance will be prepared and be accessible by a simple click. In the footage, you can see me showing some sample usage, like finding when the player was corroded, when he fought a health sentinel, or when he got the golden rune. I think this feature is great and really adds something new to the TTYREC viewing experience. For some final points, I'd like to mention the code refactorings. One of these is changing system.drawing to Skia to the Skia Sharp Nugget for image drawing. Another change is the PuTTY DLL that we use has been stripped of all dependencies on the operating system, reducing the source code by an order of magnitude. Both of these changes are for cross-platform compatibility, which is a hint of what's to come next. Thank you for watching through this video, and a special thanks to Aspectus for helping me out with the comparison shots for the slideshow, and of course for the continued contributions to the code. Keep enjoying DCSS Replay!